Good morning! Happy Friday! It's Friday, October 4th, and this is the start to my unworkshop writing slash plotting vlog. Today, in a few minutes, I'm about to head out with my friend Katie to the Highlights Foundation in Pennsylvania for the unworkshop, which is basically a program where there is no program. You go there and are able to do whatever you want, whether you're writing or plotting. There's no set schedule. They take care of all the food, all the lodging, so you can just write or plot or brainstorm or do whatever. I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you with me throughout the entire weekend. I may or may not be showing Katie. I'm not sure if she's comfortable being on here, but I will show you my experience with the Highlights Foundation. So let's jump right in. foundation oh, finally it was about a two and a half hour drive and I liked catching up with my friend Katie and now we're finally here and I thought I would take you on a tour of the cabin starting from when you first walk in we have two beds this time around I am by myself so I can have a bed at night very cool huh I probably won't though definitely picking the one farthest away from the window because I'm a thriller writer and I'm scared. So here we have a bookshelf and a little rocking chair, a little table, desk, sorry for the mess, I started unpacking a little bit, a little chair there as well. So because we're in the woods we have some bug spray. It's pretty chilly outside right now, I'd say it's probably high 50s, so I don't think I will be needing any of that but we'll see we'll see what tomorrow looks like over here we have some extra blankets refrigerator stocked with water and soda A little coffee station and then we have the bathroom which is a nice shower tub toilet typical bathroom a little window for light I'm very happy with my little cabin. So right now it's almost 3.30. According to the schedule they gave us, they do a little appetizer, happy hour type of thing around 5.30. So I think I'm going to unpack for a little bit, maybe read for a little bit, maybe one of my craft books that I brought with me. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Um, we did have a two and a half hour drive, so I just want to sit and relax for a little bit and sort of unwind before we go and socialize. What I think is really cute is this little area that we're in right here. There's a bunch of little cabins and it's very cute. It's very homey. Um, we saw a few people coming in from the workshop that they have this weekend and they all seem very friendly and I'm really excited to start my weekend here. So here are all my supplies for the weekend other than my computer. I have my handy dandy writing gloves, some pens, notebook, and highlighters. Both the highlighters and the notebook are from the Scribbler box, which you all know I love. Index cards, Save the Cat Writes a Novel, and Necessity for Any Plotter. A new book to me, Mastering Suspense, Structure, and Plot. I'm interested to see if this can give me any insight to my young adult thriller that I'm outlining this weekend. Writer to Writer is a, another craft book that I actually came from the Scribbler box as well. So this is a Scribbler themed weekend. And then Classic Fairy Tales, um, this is more of like a textbook. I am basing my young adult thriller off a fairy tale, a loosely based fairy tale. So 
I wanted to read through those little iterations of the fairy tale that I'm interested in using and then possibly get some inspiration. There we go. So this is the schedule that I made for us this weekend. We'll see if we follow it. I'm just interested to check out what times we will have for working. So let's see what the schedule looks like at the end of the weekend. One thing that's really cool is this little book. It's a little guest book for people staying in this cabin that I'm in. It has the dates all the way back to summer 2014. It's very, very cool. There was one page I found that I really loved. Look at that. Oh my gosh, beautiful. It's so cool. So I'll have to figure out what I will need to write next. Good morning, happy Saturday. It's Saturday, October 5th, and it's the second day at the Highlights Foundation and Workshop. I had a great time yesterday. I met a lot of people at dinner. I read a really great craft book. Um, I read about half of it. The second half is more focused on writing, um, like the actual writing, and I am just focusing on outlining this weekend, so I definitely plan on finishing it. It's really great. It talks about keeping um keeping up suspense but not necessarily in a suspense or a thriller book it, you know it's obviously made for that but she gives a lot of examples about romance and literary fiction and things like that so it's basically about keeping a reader reading i really love it um, she has a cool outlining process which i definitely want to try out today so it's almost nine o'clock and that is on our schedule to go writing. So we're gonna go to a different location and I'm gonna take you along with me. So right now it's a little after 11. We meet up for lunch between 12 and 1, so I'm going to work a little more before that. But I just wanted to update you on what I did. So I went through that suspense book again, and I actually applied it to my story. And I found very interesting things about my story. So her process in this book is finding your TRDs, which are twists, reversals, and danger. And she goes into a little more detail in her book about each of those. So basically they're little milestones within a story's plot that you sort of work toward and that it's a little different than like Save the Cat writes a novel because those work more in percentages like you should hit this at a certain percentage. Um, this one is more, it speaks to me a little better when it comes to this story in particular because it is a thriller. Um, even though these can be applied to any book, um, any type of genre. And then I worked on my subplots, which sort of go in the same vein. So I have my main plot of the thriller, and then the subplot currently is a copycat disappearance. And then the other subplot is with her family. So I'm not going to go into too much detail because it could change. Um, I find the outlining process is a good way to start a book for me, but I always give myself the opportunity to change. And if the story needs it, I'll change it. So I have all of the subplots, the main plot, and what I'm going to work on now before lunch is melding them all together into one cohesive outline. Um, I'm going to refer back to Save the Cat writes a novel with this one so that I'm able to make sure I'm hitting everything in the right spot. and making it as best as I can prior to writing. So I'd say a very productive morning. We wrote in the farmhouse today. The, in the other common areas, there were meetings, there's workshops going on. So we found a nice quiet area there. And I found that the, this atmosphere of this place is really playing into my story because initially when I first started writing it, it was taking place in a rural part of Pennsylvania which we're in a rural part of Pennsylvania this weekend. And the farmhouse that we were in, um, in my story, my main character, Jenny, goes to her grandparents, who she's never met, 
their house and it's in my mind it was a really big house it was um, a legacy house you know it was built for this family and it's strong but it's old and it has a lot of character and the farmhouse definitely had a lot of character um, I accidentally when I was looking for the bathroom I actually found I accidentally found a creepy basement stairs um, which basements will play a bit into my story and it just had you know the feel of something beautiful but you know in different light can be a little bit creepy and the paintings and the decorations everything screamed you know a farmhouse and that sort of brought into my mind you know how I want to decorate the house in my story you know it really reflects the people who live there and could be used you know as red herrings and things like that so yeah I had a very productive morning I'm going to jump right back in and then I will go to lunch I'll check in with you soon <music> session after lunch went really well. What I did was take my outline that I had been doing and I applied it with the Save the Cat outline, uh, outlining method. So I did a full Save the Cat outline in addition to the other one and then I melded them together. So that took a couple hours and now I'm just doing a narrative synopsis of the entire book based on those two outlines that I kind of melded together. So I'll have a more cohesive outline. I already found a few spots that I had outlined in um, Jane's roadmap session, and they're not gonna work in the places that I put them. So I'm just putting them on hold and kind of scrambling things around in a way that makes sense to me. So it's all very enlightening in that. And then we went for a, a bit of a hike for about an hour and a half and that was fun <laughs> it was exhausting it's chilly outside but i got a bit hot so we came back to the room to relax for a little bit i have about a half hour until the happy hour and then dinner so i'm going to get back to work and i'll check in with you soon <music> It's 7.30 at night, and we just got back from dinner, which was great. And I met some awesome writers and illustrators, and it was such a good time. I'm just unwinding a little bit. I got my PJs on. I'm going to probably write for another hour with my outline, maybe more. I'm not sure yet. I'm feeling a bit tired. Um, I didn't sleep very well last night. Nothing to do with the situation I'm in, um, I just, I don't sleep very well in like new environments. So I'm hoping to probably get to bed on an early side tomorrow. So I'm functioning. We're planning on staying until after lunch tomorrow. I'm not sure how long. So I wanna get as much done as I can in this last less than 24 hours that I'm here. Um, I've had the best time and I'm hoping to come out of it with a full outline. If not, I at least have the bare bones. Um, so yeah, I'll check in with you soon. Happy Sunday, it's Sunday, October 6th, and it's the last day at the Highlights Foundation Workshop. So this morning, I didn't say good morning early on. It's about 11.30 now. We had breakfast, met some more amazing writers, and we had a two and a half hour session. I ended up finishing my narrative outline, which I'm so happy about. So much changed even during each process of plotting. And then when I was able to do this narrative outline, I was able to get all the kinks out, make sure everything made sense. By the end of it, we sort of ran out of time. So I did little bullet point sentences about what I wanted, but I feel so inspired right now and I'm so happy to have completed something in such a short period of time. 
when people work or have families and things like that, it's hard to carve out specific writing time. And coming here, I was able to just write, just be inspired. And I spoke with a whole bunch of writers who definitely felt the same. We are creative people, but I think sometimes writing takes a back seat to life. So I definitely want to come back. Um, we're already thinking about planning something for next year. So this was incredibly productive. And as you can tell from the positivity of my vlog, um, I highly recommend it to anyone. Anyone who wants to make the trip. I've met people from California, Texas, uh, Virginia, um, not many people from New England actually. Um, so all over the place. So if that's something you might be interested in, I highly recommend it. The food is great. The lodgings are great. The staff is fantastic. And all of the attendees have been so friendly and nice to everyone. So I'm going to sign off here. I'm going to take the rest of the weekend off from writing and I'm going to file this outline away for when I'm ready to write it. I'm hoping I get a few chapters done in the last quarter of 2019, but I'm unsure of that. But my goal was to complete a full outline. So thumbs up for goals and I will see you soon.